One of my favorite Bible scriptures is 2 Timothy 1, 7, and this is what it says. God has not given you a spirit of fear, right? He has given you a spirit of love, a sound mind, and peace, okay? It's one of my favorite Bible scriptures. Again, 2 Timothy 1, 7. I'm Chris Martinez, co-owner of Dynamic Fit Pros. Um, so what we're going to talk about in this video is basically the 10 commandments of a transformational health and fitness business. Okay. You can look at these 10 commandments as core tenants. They can be literally things that you stick your flagpole against and what you like truly believe in, you know, with your business, right? This is going to be a great exercise. We're going to teach you as well too, for you, the health and fitness coach for your business, um, and to attract the right buyers and to grow your community and, you know, get people that really want to be a part of your community. Okay. So let's, uh, check out this video right here and we'll see you guys in the side. All right, what's up guys? Got Coach Chris here in the burgundy shirt. Co Coach Eric in the white. Gonna have you guys guess and comment below, but hey, you know, time's money. Yeah. Hopefully you guys are all you doing know. well and staying blessed though. Yeah. Okay guys, so here's what we're gonna talk about. Right? We're gonna get into it because this might be a little bit lengthy, so stick with us, okay? Um, Instagram, sorry, you guys are gonna have to go watch the replay like on YouTube or you guys have to watch it on Facebook, but Facebookers, LinkedIners, YouTubers, you guys get to see the visuals and all that cool stuff with the, the transitions, but we're gonna try to keep it spicy for all of you guys, okay? So what we're talking about today is the 10 commandments to a transformational health and fitness business, okay? Now, I'm not gonna go super deep into the 10 commandments and all that stuff, you know, and go into this whole biblical aspect of it, right? I just like it because the 10 commandments are basically like core tenants, right, for a business. They're staples, right? They are, they're kind of what just builds the foundation of like your business, right? So you guys, the health and fitness professional, should have your guys' 10 commandments or 10 core tenants. It doesn't have to be 10, it could be five, whatever, right? But you guys should have your own, right? Because that's what you believe, that's what you stand by, that's what you guys stick your flagpole in the ground with, and you guys will attract your guys' tribe that way. So I'm gonna give you guys our 10 commandments, right? Core tenants in you know dynamic fit pros for health and fitness professionals, okay? So we're gonna read this off one by one, okay? Let's do it. The very first one on this commandment is, thou shalt take imperfect action, okay? Mm -hmm. So what do we mean by that? There's never gonna be A plus work out there, so you might as well put your B plus work out there and help people out and serve them and then fine tune it because you will never ever have perfect or A plus work out there, okay? All right, my man, hit him with number All two. All right, number two in the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not charge, wait, thou shalt charge a high premium, okay? So you guys have heard us. Go look at our content. Go look at our videos. We pride ourselves on telling our students to charge a high premium. Don't sell no $100 packages, none of that stuff, guys. You guys know your worth and value. You guys are, uh, excuse my language, badasses. You guys have great skill sets. You guys are changing lives. Charge a high premium. Know your worth. People will pay the prices you are the prize <clears throat> all right number three on these ten commandments right is thou shalt be a, f a nutrition marketer okay we can say this is a nutrition marketer we can say this as uh, a fitness and nutrition marketer okay so you need to be a marketer first and a coach second a lot of you guys don't like hearing that but that does not mean that you guys have to be a <clears throat> shitty coach you should be an awesome marketer you should be an awesome coach as well too right but you have to start off with marketing because you could be a great coach right but how are people gonna find out with you and I hear people say well you get referrals you get word of mouth great okay I know that happens but when you're in the online game and you want to go virtual and you want to you know scale that business it's not going to just be referrals and it's not going to just be word of mouth you're going to have to get yourself out there on social media platforms and show people the good work that you guys do yep all right commandment number four thou shall sell more so you can serve more okay it's so one thing i see a lot of health and fitness coaches uh the mistake they're making is you guys are putting out great content you guys have a servant heart which is great right that's what you should have but you guys are afraid to sell you guys are afraid to afraid to make call to actions you guys are afraid to lead people to your guys's offers and that's the thing a lot of people are seeking that they want to know that you have an offer and that you're taking on clients but sometimes we don't we don't say that enough so guys understand that selling is serving at its highest level. Do not be afraid to put those offers out there and sell people into your guys' program. All right, we are getting into number five on these 10 commandments on how to build a transformational health and fitness business. Halfway right? point, halfway. halfway. All right, and my tech went out like always, right? So I'll read this off to you guys. The very first one is, or sorry, number five is create more income, impact, independence, and have more faith over fear, okay? You, the health and fitness professional, can 
and should have the mindset to create more money, right? You guys should have the mindset to create more impact, to help more people out and independence to have freedom for yourself, your loved ones, your family, and do the things that you love to do. And again, the last part is have more faith over fear, especially right now, there's a spirit of fear literally shadowing everybody out there, especially health and fitness professionals in their business right now to not go through with like their why, their drive, their purpose, their passion, and serve people and have the the business of their lives and the life they want to live. So you guys need to have more faith. Okay. All right. Commandment number six, guys, thou shalt have honor and integrity as a health and fitness coach. I would even say that first starts with for striving for personal excellence on a day-to-day basis, right? But you guys as health and fitness coaches should have honor and integrity. Those should be staples in your guys' values and your guys' business values because if you have no honor, right, then that's gonna really carry over to the type of clients that you guys that you guys are going to attract. And if you're not honorable and hold yourself accountable to a higher standard, then your clients won't do the same. And integrity, guys, I, I mean that, that speaks for itself. If you have no integrity, then that's going to go a long way and you get one reputation you know in this game to, to where it's like you guys don't want to sit there and destroy that reputation so honor integrity and i would even say personal excellence to get better and better boom i love how you put personal excellence all right commandment number seven numero siete i don't know how to say commandment in espanol but we'll just go number seven okay all right commit to what we call mind growth right you hear a lot of people out there saying the word mindset i don't really like the word mindset because when you look at it right in kind of like a metaphor or analogy it's almost like you're pouring concrete right and then it gets set and then you can't really like do anything else right kind of with your mind right it gets set and it's like no 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 you want to keep growing your mind right because you want to keep getting one percent better and keep growing 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 getting better right so commit to mind growth and enhancing your guys's skill sets yep All right, so commandment number eight, we're moving along here. Thou shalt take extreme ownership of your guys' business. So again, this comes with honor, integrity too. It kind of goes, you know, hand in hand with this to where if you guys are business owners, you guys are big boys, right? You guys are ready to jump in the game. I hope you're not wanting to sit on the sidelines. Like for me, I want to be in the game um, all the time. So you have to take extreme ownership, right? As a coach first, and then a business uh, a business owner as well too, to where it's like, don't sit there and play the, the victim role. Don't blame that you're not selling, that you're not signing people up, that people aren't getting results, that don't don't blame it on the, on and on anybody, guys. Take accountability for what's happening on your guys' end. There's probably something, like a little a leak that's going on in the context of your guys' business. Maybe it's something just with you personally to where it has that carryover. So take extreme ownership in all faces within your guys' business. All right. <clears throat> Commandment number nine. We are two more commandments away. Okay. So bear with us right now. They get better and better. Okay. <laughs> number nine is under, thou shalt understand business growth follows personal excellence. Okay. So again, it starts with personal <clears throat> excellence though, right? You have to work on yourself. That's why we're talking about, you know, thou shalt commit to mind growth because if you commit to mind growth, that's going to go into personal excellence. You have to develop this personal excellence to where it's like you're literally trying to reach your God-given maximum potential every single day and just be personally excellent in all areas of your guys' life, whether that's family, fitness, faith, your guys' business, right? And if you guys do that and commit to that, the growth in your guys' business will follow as well too, okay? All right, so the last commandment, commandment, we'll finish that strong and save the best for last, is thou shalt uh, always control your thoughts, attitude, and actions. I always say this is three things, guys, you guys can control on a day-to-day basis. And if you don't agree with me, type in the chat if you don't agree with me, but I, I'm a big believer that you can control your thoughts, your attitude, and your actions every single day. So regardless, right? You guys can wake up in the morning and think positively instead of negatively. Again, that's your thoughts. Then you guys can think about your guys' attitude, right? So you can control. Am I gonna be, am I gonna play the victim role? Am I gonna be optimistic? Am I gonna sit there and go play offense? Am I gonna treat people right? Am I gonna stand by my values? Sure, that's controlling your guys' attitude. And then the last one is your guys' actions. What you put in is what you're gonna get out. If you, again, are not taking action, imperfect action like we said in, in number one or two, then you guys are not gonna get results. So that's pretty much it. All right, guys, hopefully that was helpful with those 10 commandments to you know creating a transformational health and fitness business, right? So again, that could be like a nice little like exercise that you guys can do for your business as well too, is again, do those core, those 10 core uh, tenants. It could be commandments, however you guys want to twist it. It doesn't have to be 10, it could be five, it could be seven, whatever it is, right? Okay, so the next thing though is that what we're going to do is starting actually Monday, June 13th, is we're taking 15 nutrition and fitness coaches, okay? And my tech just started back up, so that's what I wanted to show you guys all right so what we're doing is we're taking 15 
nutrition and fitness coaches and we're doing this starting on June 13th and what we're doing is we're doing a 90 day 5k months boot camp okay so it says cap but boot camp so if you guys are you know nutrition and fitness coaches you guys want to get to 5k months or if you guys want to add an additional 5k to your monthly rate recurring revenue we're doing a 90 day boot camp to focus solely on that promise and that outcome on there if you guys are interested in that okay we're only taking 15 people we're starting on monday okay the next time we open this up will be another 90 days it's a new experiment that we're doing within uh, dynamic fit pros okay if you guys are interested in that then if you guys are watching on Facebook, LinkedIn, just uh, you know comment the word below, bootcamp, and we'll get you guys some details. If you guys are watching um, on Instagram, you guys can shoot us a DM with the same thing, bootcamp, and we'll give you guys the details. We'll know you yep. guys are serious, okay? But only only send us a DM if you guys are serious. We only have 15 spots. We start Monday, okay? And we only want action takers, and that's why we gave you guys the 10 commandments because that's exactly who we're looking for with nutrition and fitness coaches and those people that want to develop into an elite you know, health and fitness coach that way, okay? All right, guys, that's pretty much all we got. Um, other than that, though, thank you guys so much for your guys' time, your eyes, your ears, the support. You guys are awesome keep going out there kicking butt keep serving keep impacting people's lives the work you guys do is super important okay much respect much love we are out talk to you guys all right soon. guys